In uh, Dulce Jubilo is probably the best example of jubilant Christmas music. To me, it's very dance-like. Um, you have these uh, threes going and you can just dance along. Um, it builds extremely nicely into a very festive ending also where the violins almost sound like trumpet, uh, trumpets you know, blasting out joy of Christmas. It's, it's very jubilant music indeed. Once a tune is identified with a particular event or a particular time of year, then that, that aspect of it, that colouring, rubs off onto it. So that instead of hearing a tune and, and deciding whether it's good or bad, the tune evokes memories and feelings in us. In Dulce Jubilo is interesting uh, from a text point of view as well, as it mixes German and Latin. Every other line is in uh, Latin, in Dulce Jubilo, and then German and then Latin and German. The, the first verses are by Heinrich Süße, and the last verse is by Martin Luther. Now, I think it, it creates a very interesting bridge from pre-Reformation, where the tune, the original tune, is first noted about 1400, to post-Reformation, where, of course, local languages was used to bring the word of God to people. In the case of In Dulce Jubilo and Buxtehude's setting, what I like about that particular version is the fact that although the tune is obviously identifiable, he does something very different with it. It turns into melismas and, and vocalese almost, without losing the essential quality of the tune. Mm -hmm. 